The Dictionary of Real Estate Appraisal, page 186, chapter R continued. Rate, the ratio of one quantity to another. For instance, the ratio of net operating income to sale price or value is the overall capitalization rate. The reciprocal of a factor. See also factor. Rate base. The total amount of value on which a public utility is permitted by law to earn a fair return. Rate lock. A commitment issued by a lender to a borrower or other mortgage originator guaranteeing a specified interest rate for a specified period of time. See also lock in. Rate of interest. See interest rate. Rate of return. The ratio of income or yield to the original investment can be annual. For instance, the ratio of the current annual net income generated from the operation of an enterprise to the capital investment or for some other defined period. For instance, the yield to maturity of the investment. See also capitalization rate, the acronym is capital R, and yield rate, the acronym is capital Y. Rate surcharge. The difference between the capitalization rate and the discount rate. The increment added to a basic return on capital to provide for recapture or to compensate for the risk of future loss in capital value. See also risk rate. Ratification. Confirmation of an act performed on behalf of another, but without that person's authorization. For example, a real estate broker may make a decision that is beyond his or her authority and must be approved by the owner of the agency to be binding. Rating Agency An agency that examines investment securities and issues opinions regarding the financial strength of issuers and the probability of default for a given investment security. See also Fitch ratings and Moody's and Standard and Poor's. Rational expectations. In economics, the assumption of behavior that is consistent with good sense and sound judgment. Raw land. Land that is undeveloped, land in its natural state before grading, draining, subdivision, or the installation of utilities, land with minimal or no appurtenant constructed improvements. Raw material, non-fabricated material that is used in processing or manufacturing and thereby changed in nature or form, for instance, Iron is a raw material used in the production of steel. Steel is a raw material used in the manufacture of automobiles. The acronym capital R over B. C, building capitalization rate. RCN, replacement cost new. C, replacement cost. The acronym R, capital R over E. C, equity capitalization rate. Readily achievable. The term used in the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, of 1990 to refer to a modification that is easy to install and does not require much expense. The act specifies the considerations that enter into determination of a readily achievable modification. Real dollars. C. Constant dollars. Real estate. Number one. An identified parcel or tract of land, including improvements, if any, 
Use PAP 2016 to 2017 edition. Real estate number two, land and all things that are a natural part of the land. For instance, trees, minerals, and things that have been attached to the land. For instance, buildings and site improvements and all permanent building attachments. For instance, mechanical and electrical plant providing services to a building that are both below and above the ground, IVS. See also real property. Page 187, real estate capital market. The portion of the overall capital market allocated to real property investments. Demand, which means capital, for real property investments comes from both equity investors and mortgage lenders. <laughs> Supply is represented by the number of properties available for purchase. Fluctuations in the supply of and demand for real property investments affect market prices, capitalization rates, and discount rates, also called buy-sell market. Real estate cycle. The successive periods of expansion, peak, contraction, and through that characterize activity in a real estate market. Business and real estate cycles do not generally move in tandem, since real estate development and sales activity are especially responsive to a downward movement in interest rates. Increased activity in real estate markets often heralds an economic recovery. See also business cycle. Real Estate Investment Trust, the acronym is REIT, R-E-I-T. A corporation or trust that combines the capital of many investors to acquire or provide financing for all forms of real property. A REIT serves much like a mutual fund for real property. Its shares are freely traded, often on a major stock exchange. To qualify for the favorable tax treatment currently accorded such trusts 90 percent of the taxable income of a REIT must be distributed amongst its shareholders who must number at least 100 investors no fewer than five investors can own more than 50 percent of the value of the REIT during the last half of each taxable year the u.s securities and exchange commission sec stipulates that REITs with over 300 investors have to make their financial statements public. Real Estate Mortgage Investment Conduits, the acronym is REMIX, R-E-M-I-C's. Equity instruments issued by an investment bank that are similar to collateralized mortgage obligations in this arrangement. The certificate represents a portionate share of ownership in a pool of mortgages. Investors in Remix enjoy a tax pass-through similar to that of a REIT. Introduced in the United States as technical provisions of the Tax Reform Act of 1986, Remix were created to facilitate broad participation in the mortgage-backed securities market. Real Estate Operating Company REOC is the acronym. A real estate company whose primary business is the ownership or operation of commercial real property, but one that is not structured as a real estate investment trust, REIT. A real estate operating company often manages the property in the portfolio of a REIT. Real estate cycle. Expansion. Sustained growth in demand, increasing construction. The dotted line is equilibrium. On the top, it says market peak. Decline, positive but falling demand, increasing vacancy. Then below equilibrium is the recession. Falling demand, increasing vacancy. On the bottom is the market trough. And then eventually recovery, increasing demand, decreasing vacancy.